Hello, and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you what nuclear radiation is. Nuclear radiation is the energy particles or rays that are given off from a radioactive element as it decays. There are three main types of nuclear radiation, alpha, beta, and gamma. All of these types are ionizing, which is why they are biologically hazardous. Alpha particles are the weakest of the three types as it can be stopped by a single sheet of paper, or even your skin. However, alpha particles can pass through very thin materials, like mica. Mica windows are used when you need to detect alpha radiation. Alpha radiation is virtually harmless outside the body, but extremely dangerous when it is inside of the body. An alpha particle is identical to the nucleus of a helium atom. Beta par particles have a medium strength. They are not as penetrating as gamma, but not as weak as alpha. They are a high-energy, high-speed electron, or positron, emitted from the radioactive decay of an atomic nucleus. A sheet of aluminum can stop beta particles. Gamma particles are the strongest and most penetrating of the three particles. Thick lead is needed just to reduce gamma particles. Gamma and beta particles are dangerous inside and outside of the body due to their high penetrating power. There are various ways to detect nuclear radiation. Ion chambers can be used to detect nuclear radiation, which is how the old CDV-715s detected it. Even the camera on your phone can be used to detect radiation. I will put the link to the app in the description. The main way radiation is detected is by using a Geiger counter. Geiger counters work because they have a Geiger tube inside of them. The tube is filled with a gas that becomes conductive when it is hit by a high energy particle. The only real downside to these forms of detection is that they cannot tell you what is causing the radiation. To do this, you need to do gamma spectroscopy which is very expensive. The main units used to measure radiation dosages are Rentkens and sieverts. Some other ways to measure it are CPS, counts per second, CPM, counts per minute, and rarely CPH, counts per hour. Nuclear radiation is dangerous when you receive a high dosage in a short amount of time. Receiving 300 Rentkens in a short amount of time would possibly either give you radiation sickness or kill you. Dosimeters are used to monitor your total dosage. Natural background radiation is the radiation that is naturally around you. It is normally very low. It comes from space and the materials found around you on the Earth like granite. The background CPM where I live is normally between 15 and 25 CPM, for example. I hope you learned a lot from this video, and if you did, please consider liking the video or even subscribing to my channel. Thank you.